Yo, what's going on, everybody? Mr. Biola here, and welcome back to the Extinction Core Crystal Isles Cities. Ah, oh, it's been a big few days in this world. We have been stomping out bosses like nobody's business. And today, I kind of plan to continue on this trend. I want to take down some more buses. Um, we started with taking down a couple of the Extinction Core bosses. We then went on to taking down the Gaia bosses. We actually got ourselves some Gaia leaves, which is really, really cool. Um, and I think I left all of them over here to slowly convert into cherries because uh, once we get cherries in here, there we go, slight little bit of lag. Uh, with these cherries here, we can use these in an amazing potion called a, um, a potion. <laughs> I think it's called like a max elixir or something like that. And what we can actually do with a max elixir is basically level out our dinosaurs entirely. It maxes out their levels, uh, which is fantastic because it saves me putting in the effort. And we all know how impatient I am, so... Hey, every little bit helps. Now, um, was it called the Max Elixir? No, it wasn't. Why was this thing? Wait, this isn't where you craft it anyways. I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place. It's all good. Okay, we're, we're, we're looking for this one. The alchemy table. Uh, and it's this guy right here, the Max Elixir. So all we really need is the Mind Wipe Tonic, which why do I not have Mind Wipe Tonics? How do I not have Mind Wipe Tonics? I didn't even know if, wait, can I cook them in here? Yes, maybe, possibly. Yes, we can. Okay. What am I missing? Cooked prime meat and stimulants. How do I not have either of these things? I guess we gotta go and craft them up. Um, I don't know how, uh, I don't know if we need to get these today uh, cause I don't really have any creatures that I plan on using the max elixir on just yet. Uh, what I do want to do and what is kind of part of the plan is possibly this fella right here. The forgotten Dodo Rex. What's beautiful about this guy is um, you can evolve him up into like three different tiers. The other suggestion, actually he's already gained 22 levels from doing what? From sitting here? It's just sitting here gaining levels. No worries, but we need to wait for him to age up to, I don't know, the age of 30, I suppose. Um, he's got a little while to go. And in that time, we also need to go ahead and kill some more guardians to collect some more guardian element. And then we can do some more stuff over there. The other option, well, to speed up that process, is that we can go and summon in some more Gaia Forgotten Creatures. And you know what? I kind of like that plan. I kind of like that idea. Because the more of these guys we get, the more, um, the more basically ages that we can compile. And due to like a little bit of shiftiness, we can actually like spread the ages across or like drag them across from dinosaur to dinosaur. Now I have gotten um, a couple messages telling me that this guy here is the strongest. The forgotten evolution wyvern is the strongest of the bunch. He's the best of the bunch. Uh, the thing is, I think we've we've created one of these in the past. The only thing, yeah, the problem is uh, you want, I want to level him up into the eighth version. The eighth version we do not have yet. But maybe we'll just do it anyways. Ah, stuff it. I want to get like one of each of these guys anyways. Let's just hope that my little rifle here is enough to take this sucker down with one hit. Oh, actually, hold on. I forgot we got this thing here, the heavenly sword. Three hits with this sword will apparently knock out any creature. One, two, and three. If we can get three hits on this, fantastic. If we can't get three hits on this, uh, well, we're probably going to die. So let's hope that it doesn't come to that, right? <laughs> Where's he at? Let me go and activate my spyglass. There he is. I could have I could have literally taken him out with one dart. Please tell me you're coming back for me. Uh, buddy. No, 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 no. Where you going? Where you going? Oh, snap. Uh, is he, uh, a buddy? Hey, 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 mate? Matey? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to catch him. Oh, hold on. Nope, nope. Just, just fire a dart in the middle of nowhere. Hope it hits. It's not hitting. Man, all I had to do was hit it with one dart. I decided to get tricky with it. Regrets were made. Um, we're never catching him. Unless he decides to come down, which I can't see him doing. He's long gone. I gotta go and catch him. Do I really gotta go and catch him? Oh, okay, we gotta go and like, I don't know, aggravate him. Who are we gonna use? Ghostbusters! Wait, was that him? Was this, did I just see his wing? <gasps> He's landed. He's landed. He has landed. Uh, 
360 no scope. Yeah, baby. Oh, go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Or just, you know, okay. Breathe fire on me. Breathe fire on me. Is he asleep? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I'm on fire, though. Less than I do. <laughs> um, what can I give you? Raw mutton? Maybe I just give him some bit, little bit of mutton. Can I, can I draw some mutton across? Can I reach the base? I can't. I have to go and get it. Oh, come on. Why didn't I bring this stuff with me? Why am I always so ill-equipped? I'm just never ready. <laughs> like, oh, wow. I nearly died. Um, I'm, I always know what situation I'm going to get into, but I just always forget to like, you know, just bring what I need with me. All I need is a bit of mud. You know what? I don't have a lot of time, but um, what did I do with our berries? I just want to go and grab a bunch of that and a bunch of that. Because if I'm going to summon a couple other creatures, I don't want to have to run back to base again. Anyways, is he still asleep? He is. Um, we're going to have to drop a sedative on him. Which is fine, because I think I am prepared for this. Yes, I am. Bam. Chuck one of them on. Bam. Get that mutton in there. There he goes. He's only at level 50, unfortunately, but that's all right. He'll level up. He'll learn to love us. He'll gain some levels, and he'll be as strong as ever before. There he goes. Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Let's go and uh, let's go. Oh, wait. No, no. I have to go and put prime meat on him. Damn, I forgot about that. All right. So, yeah, we're going to go and chuck him over with our other bunch right over here. This is like our little evolution center. It's really not. It's just that they're all kind of sitting side by side. <laughs> um, I got to get some prime meat on him. Cyril, raw prime meat. I don't care where it comes from. Just get it on you. All right. So now we've got three evolution dinosaurs. Um, I probably shouldn't continue fighting at this rate, but it's okay. Wait, you're still following me, aren't you? Of course you are. Ah, uh, you are turning into more trouble than I... You know what? That was a pretty good spot. Yeah, you just land right there, mate. If you just land right there, that would be perfect. I bet you he doesn't land right there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. I like how this went from, we're going to go kill some bosses and collect some stuff that we need to, we're just going to summon more dinosaurs. <laughs> so we've had one of them. We've had one of them. We've had one of them. Should we get a beetle? I should really find out what all these guys do. Or do we get... Ooh, you know what? Forgetting Quetzal. Forgetting Quetzal. Forgotten Quetzal. I just hope this guy doesn't run away. I wonder if we should... I wonder if we're better off using the sword for this one. Like, I hope that this is an aggressive Quetzal. And not, like, a passive one. Because if he runs away, there's probably no way we're going to catch it and tame it. I still don't have, like, a replacement griffin. Or I just hope that one dart will take his butt down. Let's find out. Let's find out where... Oh, where is my Quetzal? There, oh, there is my Quetzal. We need two dots, and he is long gone. I knew it! Ah! Come on. Oh, I got it! Oh, you got to be kidding me! Did that hit? Did that hit, or did, did my dart just deal 9 point? I don't even know. I don't even care. We somehow knocked him out. That's all that matters. All right, get that mutton into your butt. Let's go. Oh, boy. I can't believe we did that! Level 50 as well. Ah, oh, that's it. He's got that same sort of like... It actually looks quite uh, tech-like. It kind of looks like the... Um, in the tech cave. Oh, there we go. Like the little um, genetic weird looking things. I don't know what they're called. When you're in the tech cave and they're like, Oh, this is the type of human you are. You're like the, the second species of... I can't even remember the story, alright guys? But it kind of looks like that stuff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I doubt you guys understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's all good. All right. All right. My gosh, this grass is so long. All right. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Just sit tight. I don't have a saddle for you. There he is. All right. Sweet. So all of these guys now are going to go ahead and uh, start, I guess. No, they're not. No, they're not. I didn't put any prime meat on our buddy over here. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Let's go and fix that. Wait, the mutton was actually going to do it, but it's okay. This guy's got a plant. Not you. It wasn't meant to be you. I was, I was meant to get it off of the the, uh, the wyvern. He had like a thousand on him. But anyways, there we go. We got four of these guys. They're all producing ages. In no time, we're going to be able to evolve them or evolve at least one of them. I don't know which one we're going to evolve first, but it doesn't matter because we have to max out their levels before we do that anyway. So uh, to get more guardian elements, which we are going to need... Um, 
let's just have a look here. We need to kill ourselves some Guardian Dragons, Stegos. We got to basically kill ourselves all the Guardians. Uh, there's a lot of them too. So we actually do have all of them. Navalis and Maguma. We've never had a Maguma, but we have Jungle. 2724. Should we go and fight this? I think this is the giant monkey deity. But these guys have got like millions of health. I don't think we're ready for that just yet. For now, let's go and track down some dinosaurs. All right, I've got the coordinates of the fellas we need. The only thing is, what if we got, wait, hold on a second. Uranio Broodmother, and then the Broodmother Lystrix. Which one did we die to? One of these guys is like ridiculously strong. I don't know what mod these guys are from. Is one just the basic and one's like, oh gosh, this is confusing. Which is which? These two are like right on top of one another or like nearby. Oh, snap. No, no, no. These guys, okay. These guys are like up on that top island, if not in the middle of the water. I don't know. These two guys, aha. Uh -huh. These are the ones that we fought. They're over in the desert. Do you think we've got what it takes to kill one of these guys? Do you think we can do it? I don't know. We don't need no Megapithecuses. A dragon... Maybe, oh, it's only level 35. But, what do we need for a dragon? Like, if I want to tame up a dragon, we got to get a dragon saddle. Uh, where do you craft a dragon saddle again? How have I not learned the dragon saddle? I thought you get it when you kill a dragon. That one right there. We need the dragon matrix. Of course we do. <gasps> five giga hearts. Yeah, we don't have those five giga hearts. But everything else we pretty much got. It's not that one, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not. No, 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 that's the, that's the, like, super powerful one. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to tame it in a tech... Sorry, craft it in a tech originator. We do not have a tech originator. But there it is, okay? So we got to get a Devourer, Massive, and Skylord. We might as well get the ball rolling. Devourer... I, I've forgotten already which ones we need. <laughs> Devourer. Craft one of those. Um, the Skylord. Or massive? Massive. It was the Massive one, right? The massive, and then the Sky Lord. There we go. All right. So we got all three of them on the way. That's gonna let us get the Dragon Matrix, and then we. Nope. That's that's not what I'm looking for. I'm look. I'm looking for down here the Dragon Saddle. So we need to get us. We got the Dragon Essence. We got the. We're gonna get the Matrix. I think we need the Giga Hearts. Sulfur, Gucciaranus lungs. Yeah. All right. Because it'd be awesome to tame up a dragon soon. Then we should really be able to take down a broodmother without any issues whatsoever. Anyways, let's go. We've got some guardians to find. Oh. Oh, hello. What is that? Primal tech... No? Wait, what is going on? What? Wait, primal... Primal tech T-Rex? Why is it glowing red? Wait, is it invisible? Primal tech T-Rex. I can't see it. I'm so confused. 2.1 million health. See the, oh, 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 I can kind of see it. Sort of. Um, do I got to turn my bloom off? I turned bloom off. Uh, something don't look right about this Primal Tech T-Rex. I don't think the Primal Tech T-Rex meant to look like this, but this guy's right outside of our base. Are we just going to let him chill right outside of our base? I kind of want to take that down, but I don't know if we can. Whoa, wait a second. What did I just get? I got a Gaia time shot. Obtained by killing savages is the only food Kronos creatures can be tamed with. What? Since when's that a thing? This must have been like one of the new updates. Time shot. Interesting. So we can tame Kronos creatures? I've never even heard of that before. Maybe that's what we got to go and look for soon. Oh, we have entered the lag zone. It's all good though. It's all good. This lag might be temporary, guys. My, I got notification today that my new computer has just been posted. So it should be arriving, I guess, next week sometime. Anyways, we're currently looking for a guy at... Oh, okay, I got to go a little bit further south. 5248. No, we got to go east. Oh boy, what is with this lag, dude? Dude, is that an alpha? dreadful come on oh there's our boy i must have flown straight past you anyways it's all good come back here buckle where you going where you going oh the lag it's okay this lag 
Make the most of it, guys, because this lag shall never return again. If all goes according to plan. In before, my new computer absolutely sucks donkey balls, and it's a uh, <laughs> piece of trash. <laughs> Let's hope that that's not the case. Funnily enough, right, all I do is close Discord, like, 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 minimize it off my screen, and everything works so much better. Also, wow, I'm a lot higher than I thought I was just now. Uh, is he coming down with me? Yep, he is. He is. Yeah, these dragons, they just draw you up into the sky. However, if I just fly downwards, I think he kind of chases me down and I can get like some pretty easy hits on him. So everybody's happy. Just hit the gun. Hit the gun guy. Not happening. I'll just wait for him to come to me then. Ready? Watch this. Three, two, one. Boom, baby. That's what you get. You piece of trash. Suck on them. Oh, wow. I nearly died. Oh, no. My Argy's like on no health. What happened? Oh, dude. That's scary. I'm going home. Oh, boy. I ain't losing no Argy today. That Guardian was like the most difficult guy I've ever fought. Oh, that was crazy. I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Well, we're going to let you rest up. He looks like he's resting up pretty fast already, so that's nice. Uh, who got the... Uh, who got the... the, 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 the I got them. Fantastic. Okay. So... Oh, that's right. I still got to kill the other two fellas as well, don't I? We ended up getting two of those, which is great. The only problem is I still need to kill a Stego and a Turtle. That's easy peasy, though. What I did want to check real quick, though, was Kronos. No, that's not how you spell Kronos. Chrono Raptor and a Chrono Triceratops. I kind of want to go and find this at 6942. Okay. All right. 6942 it is. Alpha RG, my pink feathered friend. Wow, you're really hungry. No wonder you're like, yep, that's why. That's why our friend here is starving. Well, my friends eat the best of meals. I mean, they starve until I realize they got no food. But when they got, when I realize that they're starving, I just go, I give them the best. That's right, we feed them the best. Okay, we're going to 69.42, which should be really close to the edge of paradise. So it should be just around here somewhere. I forgot we actually got to go to the ground to find a Chrono Raptor because we ain't going to find it in the sky now, are we? Um, I don't know what I'm looking for, though. Like, I don't know what this thing is going to look like. Um, I imagine it'll stand out in one way or the other. Maybe I should have brought our transmitter with us. <laughs> uh, Chrono Raptor, where are you, buddy? We got to head south a little bit. Maybe he's down here in the water. Or is he on this little island over here? Um, I doubt it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm expecting to find. Yes. Well, unfortunately, whatever this Chrono Raptor looks like, um, can't seem to find it. But you know what? That's not the worst thing in the world because just over here, we should be able to find a Guardian Stego at 6847. So we may as well just go and do that while we're out here. Aha. Uh -huh. I see you there, buddy. Ooh. Quetzal. Just a regular Quetzal. Nothing too special. All right. Now, please don't try and... Just tr try not to kill my buddy here, okay? He's had a rough day. He's had a tough day. Oh, and of course the storm's going to start now because why wouldn't it? Eh, uh, well. It's all good. I thought while we were out here, it might pay to just take down another one of these guys. There he is. Why not? He is the highest level of the bunch, though. He's like level 140. 145! Damn, he's got a lot of health. All right, let's stay stay in the air. That way, if we got to fly out, we can do exactly that. Well, let's go, buddy. You want some of this? He actually didn't want none of this. I kind of forced it upon him. I kind of feel bad now. But you're all right, mate. Sorry. I need those little stego bones. Considering it's the last piece of the puzzle to get some more guardian element, I figured we may as well stop out here and take down one more guardian turtle just for good measure. And then at least we can get out some max elixir today. Sorry, mate. But thank you at the same time. You know what? Why not one more for good luck? At 79.25, we should have one more. There's the guy I'm looking for. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Trying to take care of business here. I am a little disappointed though. 
I mean, I wanted to find this Chrono Raptor, but not only that. I mean, I, I kind of, kind of also was sort of looking out for one of these Broodmother fellows as well. What are you doing? What you doing? Sit down, relax. You're all good, mate. You're all good. Uh, so we actually ended up with a bunch of uh, weapons and stuff. I don't know if any of them are going to come in handy, but in good news, at least we got us all of this goodness, and we should be able to get us the guardian element. How many? Three. All I got to do is kill. Oh, I got to get another gerbo up, mantis, dragon. Yeah, we got to kill a bunch of stuff to get all of that. Uh, we got some more saddles that we're never going to use, so we may as well go and break all of these guys down. I actually didn't have you check these. We got a mammoth, terror bird, horse, sarco, saber tooth, rhino. Grind them all up. There we go. We got a pickaxe. We got a primal steel tomahawk. Probably not going to use it. Primal brass pick. Primal poison dagger. A swift dagger that deals double damage compared to a regular sword. We, I think we've used one of those at some point, but it's all good. We're, whoa. We got a bunch of hemp from that as well. Interesting. Alrighty. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, now that we got this element, or it's still crafting. Yeah, still crafting. We're going to have it in a second, though. We should be good to get us our, um, our max elixir, right? Or am I... Oh, mind wipe tonic. Ah, oh, I forgot about the mind wipe tonic. Uh, alrighty. All right. Let's get the grill going. We got to get some prime meat on this bad boy. Tell me I still got some prime meat in here, right? Who's got all the prime meat? Who's got all the prime meat? Oh, damn. We got a lot of it. How do all of you have so much of this good stuff? Uh, who actually needs it? Just these four down here. So everybody else, we can just take the rest of it. Okay, look at that. All 2,000. 196 uh, cooking meat in bog requires electricity refrigerates meat before and after cooking okay so how long does this thing take to cook oh there it goes all right nice so that there's on the way uh aside from that all we need was some of this beautiful stuff i don't know how much we need but we pretty much oh we're gonna need more than eight what am i missing spark powder spark powder of all things Give me the darn spark powder then. Well, my trusty old friend here. It's time to speed up some time. I just heard like the biggest howl of my life. All right, there we go. 162 of the good stuff. Let's get us that mind wipe. In fact, I might even have one of these. Manjo berries. It's all good. It's all good. Of all things. What am I What am I doing wrong? Turn it on. Turn it on. Mind wipe tonic. Let's go. There we go. All right. All right. Um, did we actually have any in here? Thankfully not. All right. We're not doing this all for nothing then. That's what I like to see. Ah, the amount of times we uh, get a little bit carried away and forget what we're actually doing. Kim Warrior food. What are you talking about? I, I, I got some in here, don't I? Kim Warrior fruit. That stuff. I didn't have enough. That's all right. We should have a bunch of this stuff over here in our farm. All right. There we go. I should have harvested this some time ago. I, d I doubt these things are even producing right now because I haven't checked it in so long. Grab the last two, just two or one cherry. It's the last one cherry. Grab the last cherry out of there as well so that it doesn't spoil on us when we're not ready for it. All right, I'm excited about this. I want to see if this, this max elixir better do exactly what I'm expecting of it. Otherwise, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. So... Let's go. Police. Show me the money. It's probably going to take 10 years to craft as well, isn't it? Of course it is. Of course it is. Why would I expect any different? I forgot we got these summon elixirs as well. We should we should turn these into special summoners as well. We'll set those to go. We've got our max elixir here. Now, the true question is, what are we going to use it on? We've got... A couple creatures out here. We got. Our, it's going to be one of these guys, basically. Um, you can wander on down here a little bit. Get you with the rest of your little party. So, the decision we got to make here is what... Yeah, basically, which one we're going to choose to do it on. Uh, we should have enough ages to get the job done, I think. Um, this is what I was talking about earlier. We've got an option of either going earth, fire, water, wind, or the best of the bunch, which is this guy, which we can't afford. Apparently this guy here, if we had to like level it up into this, is like the most powerful creature in the game. I don't know for certain if it is or not. 
But this guy here is who I'm going to focus on for now, okay? He's currently got 25 levels. Let me just read this to make sure I've got the right idea. If given to your creature, it will reset all stats and level it, level it up to a maximum. That's all you gotta say. If consumed by you, it will work like a vanilla respec suit. So it's basically like a mind wipe tonic if used on a human. We're not gonna use it on a human though. In fact, let me just double check. What do we gotta do? Yeah, okay, we should have everything we need to evolve. <gasps> no! I used up our guardian elements. We've only got one. Oh no, we got two. We got two, it's all good. Okay, I just had like a mini heart attack. It's all good, all right. Look at that, 30 dino ages. We got the guardian elements. However, we gotta go and chuck this bad boy on him. 151 levels, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So here we go. Uh, I gotta work out what we're gonna level up now. I wanna see a before and after, okay? So I ain't making the same mistake twice on this guy, okay? First time around, you guys ridiculed me for making, for mess, messing him up, basically. I didn't make him what he had the potential to be. So he's dealing about 1,064 damage. Let's get his health up. An absolute ton. I hope you guys are right. I hope you guys are right. There we go, okay? One million health. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and get that melee damage up as well. I don't know how many levels we just put into that, but it was a bunch. Let's get stamina up to like 10,000. Uh, oxygen, food. Uh, no, let's not put levels into weight. What are we doing? All right, there's our little friend. So we went from 1,000 to 5,500. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I want to get to like 10,000 before we evolve him. All right, so we still got 50 levels to drop. There we go, 12,000 damage. Can we get him to 15,000 damage? I hope you guys are right. This is all relying on advice that I've taken from the comments section of our videos, from the Discord, from emails that I receive. This is all on you guys if this goes wrong. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It doesn't matter. So, um, stamina is fine. We should never need any more stamina than that. Um, melee. Oh, is this Haji coming to attack me? Oh. That's fine, that's fine. I don't know where we're gonna put the rest of these 30 levels. Let's go 1.5 million health, okay? And then let's just go the rest into melee damage, okay? So, we've maxed him out. He's dealing 18 point what? 18 and a half thousand damage. That's more than our Mega Pithecus boss, okay? But now is the moment of truth. Now is what really matters. Now, we must go ahead I'm going to take my prime meat. I'm going to take all of this. Now is the time to level him up. We're evolving the little banana here. Hopefully into the strongest creature we have ever seen. Oh, we are going full mad scientist today. We are sparing no expense. We're about to... Oh my gosh, level 292. Oh, this is going to be so good. Here we go. Here we go. Any second. Alrighty, let's back on up. I don't want to get mixed up in this little co co concoction that we're about to create. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta settle down. Here we go! Oh, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Here we go! Our Dodo Rex T2. He is fast. He is like a little jet engine. As you can see, he's back to level 141. But the part that I'm interested in is opening up this inventory and seeing what his stats look like. This is the moment of truth. If these stats don't reflect what I'm expecting them to, then all of this has been for nothing. Let me go and attack something, all right? That's how we're gonna find out if his attack, if his damage is dealing what it should be damaging. All right, here we go. Here's our test dummy. Guys, you were wrong. You were wrong. You were all wrong. All of his stats have dropped. You guys were wrong. It was all a lie. This can't be happening. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You guys told me. 
You guys told me that this guy was gonna be the best. The best there ever was. To catch them was my real quest. To train was my course. No, this can't be happening. So, um, yeah. The resounding response to me when we when we did this the first time, like episodes and episodes ago, when we we're at the old base, was that by maxing him out before we evolved him, the levels that we basically his stats would stack. And although his level would get wiped back, he would maintain the power. But he hasn't. He hasn't. It was all a lie. Did you all join together in forces to use this lie on me, to fool me, to play me like a fool? Oh man, that's okay. We haven't lost much. Just a bit of resources, some guardian elements, a bunch of them too. We lost two on just evolving him and then we would have lost how much how many guardian element do we actually need for the uh, for the, for the max elixir? Remind me. Remind me, game. It's not here. It's in this one. How many? How many did we need? None. Okay, good. But we lost our cherries. So we lost our cherries. So that makes me that makes me sad too. But at least we've got enough to make one more of these. I think we got the cherries for it. Can I at least? Can we, can we craft one more? My, oh, I need another mind wipe tonic. Of course we do. That's all right. We can do that. We've got what we need. Fine. And this time around, I'm going to put our elixir on a creature that actually matters. Oh, how heartbreaking. Our leaves. Actually, the cherries is the worst part. We wasted all of our cherries. Ah, oh, well. You know what? We've lost all of our progress enough times this series. <laughs> we've we've had to redo things over and over again enough in this world that it doesn't even bother me anymore. All right. So, what level was our Megapithecus when we when we got him? What level were you, George? Uh, he was a one. What was it? He was level one hundred. When we tamed him, he would have been about a one seventy. So since then, he's gained 90 levels. So if I use the max elixir, it should give him an extra 60. I think that's worth it. That's worth it. Let's go. Wait. Oh, that's right. It wipes him out. I, comp <laughs> I completely forgot that it removes all of his levels as well. Oh, that's okay. All right. Let's get, let's get cranking. So he was on 1 million health, right? We're going to go straight past that this time. We're going up to 2 million health. There we go. 2 million health. Stamina? Yeah, I can have a little bit of stamina. Why not? Um, food. Oh, you know what? Let's just save him the trouble. Just chuck one of them on him so his food stops draining. Um, melee damage. Pretty much the rest of the 80 levels are going into melee damage. I should have tested out his base stat before doing this, but it doesn't matter. Let's just get them all in there. I hope I didn't put too many levels into health. Let's find out. Who wants to die? Who wants to be old George's test dummy? George's little play toy. Who wants to have playtime with George? There's like not a creature in sight. Ha ah, ha ha ha. I see a mammoth. Oh baby, 20,000 damage. That's all I needed to see. Man, this is like a mammoth graveyard. <laughs> All right, well, at least we got one of our very strong creatures leveled up sufficiently. And on that note, we are going to call this a day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then make sure to go ahead and kick me off my dinosaur because I went and went like this. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And as always, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.